Hi there and welcome to part six of the High Borean Age. I still have 14 pages to go. Glance briefly at the peoples of that age. The dominant of High Boreans are no longer uniformly tawny haired and gray eyed. They have mixed with other races. There is a strong Shemitish, even a Stygian strain among the peoples of Koth and to a lesser extent of Argos. While in the case of the latter, admixture with the Zingarans has been more extensive than with the Shemites. The Eastern Berthunians have intermarried with the dark-skinned Zamorians, and the people of southern Aquilonia have mixed with the brown Zingarans until black hair and brown eyes are the dominant type in Poitain, the southernmost province. The ancient kingdom of Hyperborea is more aloof than the others, yet there is alien blood in plenty in its veins from the capture of foreign women, Hyrcanians, Acer, and Zamorians. Only in the province of Gunderland, where the people keep no slaves, is the pure Hyborian stock found unblemished. But the barbarians have kept their bloodstream pure. The Sumerians are tall and powerful, with dark hair and blue or gray eyes. The people of Nordheim are of similar build, but with white skins, blue eyes, and golden or red hair. The Picts are of the same type as they always were, short, very dark, with black eyes and hair. The Hyrcanians are dark and generally tall and slender, though a squat, slant-eyed type is more and more common among them, resulting from mixture with a curious race of intelligent those stunted aborigines conquered by them among the mountains east of Villaye on their westward drift. The Shemites are generally of medium height, so sometimes when mixed with Stygian blood, gigantic broadly and strongly built, with hooked noses, dark eyes, and blue-black hair. The Stygians are tall and well-made, dusky, straight-featured, at least the ruling classes are of that type. The lower classes are a downtrodden mongrel horde, a mixture of Negroid, Stygian, Shemitish, even Hyborian bloods. South of Stygia are the vast black kingdoms of the Amazons, the Kushites, the Atlans, and the hybrid empire of Zimbabwe. Between Aquilonia and the Pictish wilderness lie the Bosonian marches, peopled by descendants of an ab ab aboriginal race conquered by a tribe of Hyborians early in the first ages of the Hyborian drift. This mixed people never attained the civilization of the pure Hyborians and was pushed by them to the very fringe of the civilized world. The Bosonians are of medium height and complexion their eyes brown or gray, and they are mesocephalic. They live mainly by agriculture in large walled villages and are part of the Aquilonian kingdom. Their marches extend from the border kingdom in the north to Zingara in the southwest, forming a bulwark for Aquilonia against both the Sumerians and the Picts. They are stubborn defensive fighters, and centuries of warfare against northern and western barbarians have caused them to evolve a type of defense almost impregnable against direct attack. 500 years later, the Hyborian civilization was swept away. Its fall was unique in that it was not brought about by internal decay, but by the growing power of the barbarian nations and the Hyrcanians. The Hyborian peoples were overthrown while their vigorous culture was in its prime. Alright, thanks for listening to today's part. See you later.